how did I choose the Gibson ES-335 as my guitar of choice? Um, when I started getting calls for sessions, it was late 1969, I was 21, and I had a Fender Telecaster, a Les Paul, and a Gibson ES-175. The Les Paul for rock and roll, the Telly for the country gigs, and the 175 for the jazz gigs. Well, the busier I got, I got tired of carrying those things around from session to session with an amp also, back into your car. This was prior to what we later did. We had cartridge companies take our instruments around for us. So I went to a music store and tried to find a guitar that was as versatile in sound as I am as a musician. And the 335, if you put it on the, the back pickup, you can go there and get the... Right? Put it on the front pickup, darken her down a little bit. I'm jazzing now. Same guitar, same amp. No, no. This particular guitar I'm playing right now uh, does have old PAFs in it. And I just started playing this a couple of years ago. They're vintage pickups. But the guitar that we're speaking of, my 1968 335, was completely stock, except for the stop tail piece, which everybody does, so it'll stay in tune better, but no modifications to tone. So that's, the guitar can go as far as I can take it. Yeah, it's at the house, and this is a 69. It's actually a 69 at the house, and this, you guys, this is a great story. This has nothing to do with playing the guitar except a fan from someplace in the Northeast two years ago found a way to contact my contact people, and his letter said, I have a Gibson ES-335. Larry's my favorite guitar player. The guitar has not been played in 17 years. It's in great condition. I would like to give it to Larry as a present for his backup guitar if he likes it. If he doesn't like it, I wish he would return. Well, it took months for these messages to get to me. And the guy seemed so sincere that we contacted him and said, I'd love to see the guitar. Well, his brother was coming through Nashville, where I live, and brought this guitar in a case. And I took it out, I didn't plug it in. That's the other thing after playing a Gibson 335 for so many years. I auditioned them with nothing, no amplifier, just like that. I know what they're supposed to sound like to me. Anyway, it's a great guitar. I accepted this gentleman's gift and have been playing this one for the last two years. Isn't that beautiful? It's just... <laughs>